Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is nice to be back. I know it's been some time since I last posted. I've been busy with school and exams and, and midterms and so on. So it's been it's been hard to jump on, record some videos and post them up. But do not worry. I do have lots planned for this coming winter break. Uh, but yes, but for now, thank you so much for all the love that has been shown to the channel. I just recently checked. We have reached a 50 subscriber uh, mark, which is amazing for, for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy. That's not something I ever thought would happen. I'm just recording videos of my chess games and, and little tutorials and posting them up. But I, I, I appreciate all the love that has been shown. And as well for, for my top video that, that I posted, which I'll link up here if you haven't watched it. Um, it has reached over 1,300 views, which again, it might not be a lot, but for me, that is amazing. So again, thank you all for, for all the love that's been shown in this channel. And I look forward to posting more as the next few weeks come by. Uh, but yeah, today, welcome back to another video. We're doing another little tutorial. Uh, Chess.com just recently released a new feature that sort of took over the report section on the analysis, and it's called Game Review. And we'll be jumping in and diving into this new tool. Uh, originally, it was only available for, for members of Chess.com. I, I do have a subscription with them, a, a gold member subscription, which I can make a whole other video on the different types of subscription that they offer. Uh, so I was able to jump on this one early and, and try it out. So today we'll be reviewing that. I played recently a Blitz game. Um, and we'll be, we'll be jumping on, which as you see is in the very background. And yeah, so for this, I will take my camera off. That way you don't get to see my ugly face. And then we'll jump right into the review, right into the tutorial on, on how to use it and what's it like and is it useful. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, so here we go. Let's start with this uh, game review tutorial. We begin by seeing the screen. On the left side, we have the chessboard with the pieces where you'll be seeing how the game progresses. And on the right side, you have sort of the analysis section and uh, the game review, which before was uh, known as the, the report section here on chess.com. So to break it down, first we have the uh, the advantage uh, chart or graph at the very top that will show you sort of the, the advantage throughout the game and, and who was potentially having the, the better chance of winning. Uh, another cool feature about this is that if you see all the little dots here, those were some really key moves throughout the game uh, for yourself. So if you want to skip the whole review uh, of every single move, you can just jump right into the specific point in the game where that uh, is being shown, which usually just includes your inaccuracies, your mistakes, or uh, I guess right here, you get a, a great move. So you can see what exactly you messed up on or what exactly you actually did correct. Um, that's if you want to do a quicker sort of analysis. From there, we move on to the actual game review where it shows your accuracy, your opponent's accuracy. Uh, please don't judge in this game. <laughs> 64.8 accuracy. Not the best game. I'm still only rated at 828 over on uh, Blitz, which I know it's, it's not the greatest. I'm still quite the beginner, but again, uh, it's really cool. And below you just have essentially a little breakdown of every of all the moves that you made, whether it was brilliant, a great move, the, the best move possible, was it whether excellent, and then you you know break down to your inaccuracies, your mistakes, if you blunder everything or if you had a missed win. And again, just to clarify, missed win does not mean that you could have won the game. It just means that you could also miss a uh, a winning piece or, or taking a uh, material from from your opponent. After that, you have here your little um, chess.com coach, your virtual coach, who will sort of give you a, a breakdown of the whole game and how it goes. And it's actually a really, really cool feature uh, I mentioned earlier to see if, it, if it's useful. I, I actually find it quite useful compared to the previous uh, analysis tools that they offered. Uh, but why don't we just jump right into it, show you the game. Do not judge. It's a horrible game. I made some mistakes there, as you can see. And no blunders, but I did make three mistakes and four inaccuracies, which... Uh, hurt my game, but I came out on top and that's what matters. So let's begin. We are going to start with our virtual coach and he actually breaks down every single move for you. And he gives you a little commentary as you go and suggestions, which is really cool. So, you know, I'll just read this first one. Uh, opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishops and queen, often leading to sharp games. And he does that for both sides. He'll give you the commentary or, or suggestions on, on what you were doing right or wrong and then he'll do the same thing for, for your opponents uh, as you go as you can see uh, they played c6 is a, is a book move and he explains why which which is pretty cool and then you have little links here that you can explore further and, and, and sends you to the learning tools here on chess.com uh, so that you can improve your game which is, is pretty awesome and again talks about developing your knights and, and making sure that they get up nice and early. Uh, again, more suggestions. 
and so on and you can see this this whole thing and, and then we begin now moving away from the uh, the moves made by by sort of like your book moves or, or your your starting moves uh, so it just tells you that this piece is now adequately defended and we can just see it this is trade-off equals material which is not bad and then this part is really cool so it says that here um, this is a book move and I took and I captured the pawn and it actually breaks down everything from the, uh, your database of all the games you've played. And it tells me that this is the Karo can defense. You play this opening 38 times with a 50% win rate. So it sort of lets you know, um, how well this position has turned out for yourself. And again, these are all links, uh, for all the previous games that you've played and you can click more obviously. And then they, they show you all the different games that you've played with those moves. So whenever this move was played, I've only won 40% of the time. Uh, when this move was played, I won 63% of the time and so on. And you can further explore this if, if you're interested in seeing how those lines turn out um, and you know give you a better idea of what's coming up. On the next move here, uh, he brings out his queen and he says that this was a, a free to take, so might as well. Um, it shows that this was a mistake for me because I have a losing piece and it's correct and I'll be losing that in the next move That's exactly what he does, you know capture material and it's free and again Here we he continues to explain that I'm threatening to take material and and so on and uh, You get the idea that as we as we move through this it shows uh, his suggestions Here's a here's another little feature cool feature about it. So it says you overlooked an opportunity to develop a piece uh, and this was why it was a mistake and you can actually click show line and it'll work out for you what could have happened so let's do that for a second here and then it just plays the moves for yourself on how the game could have turned out and obviously to put you at a better position regardless let's um let's go back to the original let's go back to our original um, and we continue moving everything throughout. And yeah, you guys get the idea that it just sort of shows you how uh, moves go, uh, which is pretty cool. And this is how the game progressed. Made a few mistakes here and there, ended up capturing material. Another really cool feature, which I'll get to right down here, is when he explains what the great move is. So essentially, when we see this move over here, uh, he tries to go for the check. Obviously, a mistake because he blunders the. Oh, oof, that's a horrible arrow. He blunders the queen, and essentially, he tells me that checkmate is coming up. Uh, there was only one good move, and essentially, I found it, which was great. He develops a piece, and then I just take, which is an excellent take. We begin by essentially pushing on him, and he. I, lo I love how the coach, you know, gives you little things saying good job you continue to checkmate the attack you know it's it's pretty good he moves and eventually um he congratulates you on your win which is pretty cool and yeah so that's essentially a little tool i love the, the commentary that the virtual coach gives you sort of telling you where things go as well as having the opportunity to see where other lines may go you know where did you miss material what could you have done differently how could the game have turned as we saw in some of the previous one it's really awesome as well as letting you see statistics of the positions in which you were in and further lets you search those games and improve on your positions. And lastly, the other thing that I really, really like about this is after you, uh, they congratulate you on your win and they show your, uh, your adjusted accuracy um, and so on, they tell you based on this game, uh, he has some training suggestions for you and then you can look at your your lessons you know rooks on sevens relative pins and battery and he also suggests other puzzles that can help you improve just based on what this game was anyways i hope this video was useful i hope you all enjoyed it the the new game review tool i find it to be very uh comprehensive and very amazing i love all the new features that they added allowing you to see statistics allowing you to run different lines and obviously having the virtual coach explain to you why that uh, move you made was either wrong or correct and so on. So yes, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was um, a good uh, learning opportunity for all of you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please help me uh, get to, I guess the next goal would be 100. Or let's start easy. Let's get to 75 subscribers first. But if you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could subscribe, if you could like, or check out any other of my other videos. 
But anyways, for now, thank you so much, and I will see you all on the next video.